everyone and welcome to the very first part of the kidnapping challenge um it's actually called the kidnap challenge and it is on i think the sims resource or mod the sims it's yeah i think it's on mod the sims i can't remember but i'll try and find it and i'll leave the links down below so you can go and check out the rules and things um i am doing my own version of this challenge though so i'm going to actually try and kidnap the town <laughs> oh i've just realized we've got a little pose player there let me just object delete it um yeah so i think we're going to actually kidnap the town or try to kidnap the entire town i think that would be really fun um so we have this house here and actually let me just come out of f10 i don't know why i'm in that <laughs> so we have this house um a lot of you already from the trailer have been asking where i got this house um i got this on the sims resource i will if i could find it again i'll leave a link down below if i can't find it again then i'm really sorry um um, but I will keep trying to find it and when I find it there will be a link. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> but it's a really cute house. This garage you can actually use. Um, it's just kind of there for show. So we'll get into the house. So upstairs we have um, this bedroom here. Um, which got like a TV there. I think it's really really nice and obviously these must be custom content beds. Or maybe custom content bedding i'm not entirely sure but they're really cute and these rugs i just think are absolutely gorgeous the person that made this house done an absolutely brilliant job um we have two showers in this bathroom for some reason <laughs> you can shower at multi multiple people could shower at the same time or they could both take a shower and i don't know stare at each other that's kind of creepy <laughs> okay so yeah we have this bathroom here which is really nice and then we've got this other bedroom which is going to be their bedroom um here it is and it's got like really nice bedding on it too it's really pretty again the rug it's pretty much the same layout as the other one um and then you've got your hallway here then you go down a floor and we've got this 11 room over here these couches are absolutely like gorgeous and that table as well. I just love everything about this house so much. So, so much. Um, so this is it. Really nice. And then we've got bathroom. Um, which is also nice. We've got this lip. No, it's not living room. Dining area with your kitchen over here. Which is really cute. And I guess that's our fridge. Yeah, that's our fridge there. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's it. Like I said, this is just for show. So when you go down the floor, there's like nothing really to, you, you wouldn't fit a car and things in there. It's just, it's just there to make the outside look pretty, I believe. Um, then you've got the back garden, um, which has a pool and it also has this little seating area out here. Oh. It's really hard to show you guys because there's like mountains in the background and it's messing with my camera angles. <laughs> um, but I really like this house a lot. Um, and then I built them a basement and there wasn't anywhere to put the stairs. I thought maybe I could put it in the garage but the garage is completely unusable. I can't really even place anything in there. Well you could probably place things in there but you can't place like stairs or anything because of the different levelling they must have used to make this house so we'll go downstairs um now this is where well i'll introduce you to the characters in a second but erin doesn't know anything about this area she's only recently moved in with wilson um and they've just gotten engaged so she doesn't know about this little area that he has set up down here um she only knows about this room and she doesn't really even know about this bit here what she thinks is that he just has because he likes to sculpt so he she just thinks it's a place where he keeps his like sculpting items and his you know other things and then she just thinks that like through let me put the walls up so you can see a bit better 
she just thinks that through this door he keeps it locked because he has like supplies and stuff she doesn't realize that there's another door back there she just thinks that that's it like she doesn't realize anything further back here so the area that he's going to keep his kidnapped victims um is a pretty nice actually um because he wants to make he's not a bad guy well he's bad because he want yeah he wants to join the criminal career but yeah he could do that <laughs> um he wants to kidnap everyone basically and he he's not going to do anything bad to them he just wants the power you know to know that he is in control of something you know what I mean? Like, he's evil in that way. He doesn't want them to have a hard life down here, so he's tried to make it as nice as possible. And he's done that. He's gave them, like, um, obviously their fridge and their microwave, and he's gave them, you know, the, the stove so they could actually eat or prepare whatever meals they want, and he will supply them with, like, food. Um, they gave, to gave them a coffee machine. He's even put flowers in and he wants them to feel at home. It's kind of weird and in a creepy way that he's done this, but he's like put a little picture, you know, of home here just to tell them that this is their new home and I'm pretty sure that they won't find it that way, but he thinks it's a nice little touch because, you know, he's not really, he doesn't really understand why they wouldn't want to live down here. And he's uh, gave them a little calendar so that they could keep track of the days and obviously lots of all-in-one bathrooms here. And then he's gave them beds and he's even gave them a TV. I think the only thing that isn't there is maybe the bookcase. I should probably have done that but I didn't. And he's also gave him the... Ugh, I can't talk. He's also gave them a little double bed here as well. So eventually we will run out of beds but they will probably start dying or hopefully some of them will die before we get the next lot in um we'll see but Erin doesn't know about any of this yet he does have his first victim in mind who is actually Anna Gatlin now one of you sub lovely subscribers um did create her for my sweet mix LP <laughs> and I've decided to put her in this one I don't know um I thought it would be I don't know. I just put her in it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, so we're good with that. So we'll get into the characters here. So Erin, um, this is her here. They're about to leap into each other's arms. So we'll let them do that. You've probably got a good look at her from the, um, the trailer, but that's her here. And this is Wilson. So, um, Erin is... <laughs> One of the rules is that um, the partner had to have the absent-minded. I don't think they meant, or it necessarily means, you know, partner as in they're together. But um, I, I kind of wanted it to be that way. So the, one of the rules is that she has to, or she or he has to be absent-minded. Um, so she's flirty, absent-minded, great kisser, charismatic and friendly. So all around, she's a pretty good person and... Um, they, she is a bit forgetful at times and she kind of looks past the way that Wilson is. She doesn't see the evil that's in him. She doesn't realise what he's really like and that's just the way that is. And then we've got Wilson, obviously they're engaged. Um, one of the things was that you had to make him or, you know, the main character evil. So he's evil. Um, so we have great kisser, irresistible, handy, a schmoozer and evil. I thought some of these traits would come in handy for getting people, you know, downstairs. Um, basically kidnapping the town. So we have to kind of wait and see what Erin thinks when she finds out about this. But... Yeah, we have our first victim in mind, Anna Gatlin, and we already know a few others. So we know Susan Wainwright, and we know Chantel Spitzig. Um, we are in the town of Sunset Valley, so um, we should know a lot of these characters that are going to be in it already. Um, <laughs> so I thought that would be good. Uh, he wants to join the evil career. I'm not really sure. 
because I wanted her to have a job and while she's working I want to attempt to do the kidnapping so that she was unaware but if they both have jobs but his I made his lifetime wish the Empire or the Emperor of Evil so yeah we'll just give him a job so that means we need to go ahead and uh, I hope I've explained all this good um <laughs> I've probably forgotten a few things but uh I'm sure I will remember at some point. So let's go ahead and have him get a job. Uh, did, I, did I click that? I mustn't have. Um, oh, look at them. They're so in love. They are so in love. Okay. So he's going to go ahead and find a job. And then we'll get started on the first uh, victim. Papa. I guess she doesn't what she yeah she doesn't really need a job so let's actually go ahead <laughs> and have because she got a job as a journalist um which I thought would maybe be fun because she would um you know she would hang on now here it is criminal she would start to notice people going missing in town I thought um, so I thought that would be a pretty good idea, but um, I'm not too sure anymore. I want to do that. So she's eight till two. What is he? He's ten till four. Um, I don't know. We'll maybe keep her in a job just now, but she might quit later on. So what we'll do, he isn't in work until 19 hours we're actually going to go ahead and invite Anna over because obviously we already well we know her from uh, just we just do <laughs> we already know her so let's go ahead and do that sure to wash. I'm at work right now and I don't know when I'll be done really are you um oh what else I wanted to do was uh options and I wanted to just turn a few things off I wanted to turn off the weather I'll keep the actual seasons but I want to turn off the weather and uh, yeah we've got a single one already let me just uh, yeah we turned all that off so that is fine so what do we know Anna's out at the moment so I guess she I've got a feeling I have a feeling. Okay, well, um, I don't know where she could be. Um, okay, well, I think she must be like, um, I don't even know what. <laughs> we'll just leave it now. What are you about to do? Why does your phone look like that? That is weird. Like you can see the insides of the phone. What is that? <laughs> Did you guys see that? That was really weird. Okay, well let's go ahead and actually you have him use the toilet then. Cause he kind of needs and then... Oh, I don't like that. I don't... Let me just... That's going to bother me because I'm a little OCD with that sort of thing. Let me just delete that. Um, okay. And back into game mode we go. Oh, I just felt like something went on my arm there. That was creepy. Oh my goodness, what is it? Oh. <laughs> just one of my hairs. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. So, what we'll actually have him do is... Since we can't... Invite her over. Because what I was actually wanting was... I was wanting Anna to be Erin's best friend. So maybe we won't kidnap her first. Now that I think about it. Maybe we should kidnap this lady first. So let's invite her over. Who is this? Susan Wainwright. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Oh, let's see awesome. if she wants to come sure. over. Sorry, I don't... Oh my god, guys. <laughs> Look at his face. He's like, how dare you? How dare you say no? Oh, Kronker. <laughs> Oh, screw you. Okay, what we'll do then is we'll go ahead and, uh, that's Gatlin. 
Um, let's just have him go ahead and visit the park then. And we'll try and find a suitable um, victim here. What about this guy that's playing the um, guitar? How about you actually just go ahead and chat to her because maybe you should become best friends with her. Maybe you should... <gasps> Nick Alto. Hmm. Hmm. Is he too big of a suspect? Because he's pretty rich if I remember right. Um, people would probably... So we can't even talk to Anna? Are you serious? Okay. Fine. I am not impressed. Okay, can you not? Can you go ahead and... Um, friendly... Give him a friendly introduction. We'll see what happens here. I don't know if we'll ever be able to get everybody from the town, but uh, we could try. Can we please, friendly introduction, please? Come on. Uh, <laughs> you're not being very subtle there, Wilson. <laughs> okay, that's fine. So we give him a friendly introduction. Let's, um,. Ask about his career. Um, use all these like smoother things. Let's praise him. We'll flatter him a little bit. Um, and uh, let's uh, compliment him. So he's in the music industry. Okay. So Aaron is swimming away. All right, um, no, not irresistible. Uh, let's uh, tell him a dramatic story and um, praise him again. And then let's just ask him if he wants to form a group with us. And Nick Alto, is there anyone else at the park? See, there's other people at the park, but yeah, I suppose they wouldn't really suspect anything. He's just talking, I mean. Yeah, they wouldn't really suspect anything. Oh, and he's a wretch. Okay, let's see if he wants to form a group with us. Um, I don't care about this raccoon. <laughs> Do you want to form a group? Okay, so we're in the group now, so let's um go ahead and... Uh, Go, I don't want to press go home in case it wrecks the group thing. Where's our house? Where did I? Here it is. Okay, so we'll have him go here with the group. And Erin is, what are you doing Erin? You're just swimming away. Yep. <laughs> just swimming in the pool. Okay. How about you try and chat with, uh, Anna here. How about that? Yeah. Um, so he's meeting up. Styles Mc Styles McGraw is his name. Dear Oh my gosh, Anna. Cool, let's chill. Okay. He does not know what's hit him. Okay, so what we want to do, I want to do is I want to go ahead, oh, down another floor, um, go, have him just go here, into here. He's like, come and see my little room. You're going to love it. Yeah. What is up with him? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But here is a... Uh, Erin coming so hopefully she doesn't see that he's brought this guy back here um so maybe we should actually have oh she already knows because she's about to go and talk to him well maybe yeah let's uh, just go ahead and uh, call him over and hopefully he gets oh my god call over why can't I call him over? Did we already? Uh, is it because Anna's going to talk to him? 
Oh my gosh, this is annoying. No! Don't be attracted. No, it's because she's in her swimwear, isn't it? Whatever. <laughs> Let's go ahead and... Uh, right. I guess what we'll need to do then is, is... Can we not get here? Can we not go here? Did I do something while I was making this? Go here. Go here. Okay, you can't figure it out. Fine. <laughs> Let me sort this then. I guess we'll have to take a couch away. Um, because it looks like... Did I put a door? Yeah, I did put a door. So let's go ahead and have him um, watch TV. And then we'll ask... Um, we'll ask him to come ahead and join us down here. Uh, uh, ask to join. Is that ca yeah, and Anna's just, no, I mean, uh, Aaron's just like, oh, he must just be a way to have a look at um, Wilson's sculpting things. So I'll just go and do my own thing here. So we'll have her go ahead and use the toilet. And she's a little bit hungry, so can we not cook with... That's going to bother me. That is going to bother me. I'm going to have to sort that, actually. Um. Okay, let's... Let's serve up some mac and cheese anyways. Okay. Oh, I didn't want to cancel or go into the toilet, but that's fine. Right, so what we're actually going to do now... So Styles isn't actually expecting anything at the minute. He just thinks that he's down there watching TV. So Wilson's actually going to go ahead and lock this door to everyone but himself. So that means that... Um, he should not be able to get out. Yeah. So we'll just chill and watch some TV. And maybe actually serve up some... Um, let's serve up some autumn salad there for... For Styles. I mean, he's not going to suspect anything really. He probably just thinks it's like some cool place that he's got like in his basement. Okay, let's go see what Erin's doing. She's just... What are you doing? Cleaning up. Didn't... Did I not tell her to serve up some food? What What was wrong with serving up mac and cheese, Erin? I need to find out. I need to find out. Erin, what are you... Erin. You can't go down there, okay? Erin? Yeah, you're not meant to even know there's a second door there, Erin. Come on. And you've got a bin up here. You don't need to go into there. Okay, you know what? We're going to have to move this bin. <laughs> Since she's having a few little issues here, we'll have to move this bin. Let's just put it, I don't know, here. Where's the mailbox actually? Mailbox is like hidden here. Hang on. Let me move that to there. Is that, yeah. That looks fine. Just put it there. Okay. Cool. Are we back in game? Yeah. So it's dark. Did I forget to put a few lights down? Must have. Oh no. I don't know. Who knows? Okay, so she's oh. using... No! Okay, she keeps wanting to use that fridge to prepare the mac and cheese. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go ahead... Mm, there's a few things I'm not really keen on about this house now. <laughs> because I can't use that fridge to prepare food, which is rather annoying. And we're going to have to delete this here. And buy a fridge. So we'll get that one because that one kind of matches. Does it match? I don't know if it does. Can we get a different colour? That's worse, I think. Let me just get that. And then we'll copy this thing and see if we could place it. Um, we'll just place it up. No. Uh, there. <laughs> we'll just have it up there like that. Okay. That works. 
Come on, game. Oh, it's already done it. <laughs> so let's serve up some mac and cheese then. Okay. Go on. So already she's kind of like, well, something's weird down there because, yeah, something is weird down there. But whatever, he must just have a second storage area. <laughs> okay, so let's go and see what Wilson is doing. Where? Are, Wilson? Did you leave him? He better still be down there. Yeah, he is. He's just chilling away. What is he doing? <laughs> I don't really know what he's wanting to do. Wilson Smith just went swimming. What are you doing? Are you going to clean up that plate? Oh, how good! He's already adjusting. Now what? He's just going to watch some more TV. Guess so. Okay. <laughs> how about... Erin! See, this is one thing I hate. <laughs> I hate about the absent-minded sims. They just like forget that they work. She's like, oh yeah, I I was cooking mac and cheese, wasn't I? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. Did you burn it? No, you didn't even burn it. Awesome. Okay, so call to meal family. Okay, so he should be coming. Yeah. He's going to come and get his food. Yes. Although the door... Erin! Um, Stop forgetting! You're eating your mac and cheese. Stop it. Oh wait, you're not hungry. Um, okay, well eat it anyways. You're a bit skinny. Okay. So Wilson's going to go ahead and eat. And then we'll put these leftovers back in the fridge. Oh, it sounds like he's moaning because he can't get out. Yep, he wanted out but he can't get out. So he's actually just realised that he's now stuck in this room. He's like, what the hell? I'm stuck here. Oh my god. What's I'm going to... I'll just watch TV. Maybe he like locked me in by accident and I'll get out like, you know, in 10, 15 minutes or so. So I'll just watch some TV until he uh, <laughs> gets back here. Okay, so Wilson is finishing. Yeah, we'll clean that up in a second. Come on, clean up. Right, so you want to go to bed. What bed are you choosing to sleep in? Hopefully the right one. Let's see. I think she has. She's chose the correct bed. Good girl. Good girl. Yep. And we're going to get the face under the pillows thing again. Oh, just, just, just kind of above. That is creepy though. <laughs> that is creepy. So, um, this. What a great time. Everyone was pleased with the outing and will be excited to do it again. Looks like it's time to leave. See you. I'm getting a bit sleepy. I should head home. Hanging out if you really beats going solo. Please give me a call anytime to chill. So, let's just double check that he's still there. Yep, he's still there. That looks so awkward with his legs crossed. <laughs> it looks so awkward. Okay. Yep, so he's just still watching the TV. Finally realised he can't go anywhere. So, let's go ahead and have him use this toilet here. And then we'll just have him go ahead and shower. I don't think I've seen these showers. I wonder where they came or if they're like custom content. Maybe I'm just forgetting what they came with. Okay, can you not use the shower? What's wrong? What's wrong? Do the showers not work either? Okay. Um, oh, I think I see. Um, we'll put it that way then. Can you use it that way? Let's see. Take a shower. Go ahead. Yeah, the shower was the wrong way around. Okay, that's fine. And then he could go ahead and sleep. Um, evil slumber. 
33 vehicles have been removed. Marty is now the father of a new baby boy. Okay. Alrighty. So that's them in bed. So let's go ahead and just have a quick little check and see what Styles is doing. He's just standing there in the dark by the looks of things. Yep, wandering around. He's tired, but you know, there's plenty of beds. Oh, he's got his phone. Yep, he's still tired. <laughs> this is actually surprisingly fun to just watch what he's going to do. What are you going to do? Just TV all the time. Complain about being tired. Oh, the carpool for Erin will arrive soon. Oh, he's getting some food. Oh, he's put the food down. And he's got leftovers. And he's not eating that either. What are you doing? Styles, you crazy, crazy man. You crazy man. Do you remember in like um The Sims 2, they used to like fall asleep in their food? That used to amuse me so much. Okay, Erin has a uh, work. So yeah, she's off to work. No, I don't. Oh yeah, you go to work. And you have work at 10, which means you'll get picked up at 9. So let's go. I'm just going to watch him a bit more because I like to watch what he's doing. I don't know why. <laughs> so the summer festival has arrived and the carpool for Wilson will arrive. Looks like this has went bad. And he's excited to eat the mac and cheese. There he goes. <coughs> oh, he's choking. <laughs> I guess he's not gonna... Um... Yep, you should probably go sleep in one of these beds. But he probably won't actually, who knows. Yeah, he's gonna clean that up. No, he's not. What is his traits? Is he absent-minded? We don't know anything about him yet. We'll have to find out. But that's Wilson going off to work. So what I think we'll do is we will end this part here. Um, is he actually going to wash them? Yeah. We will end this part here. So I hope you all enjoyed this. I think it'll get much better. You know, when Erin starts to find out what's going on and, um, you know, we get more people down here. <laughs> it should get much better. So I hope you all enjoyed this and I will speak to you all soon. Bye.